What is going on, Luna Classic community? I hope you're having a great morning. Now, you saw the pump that happened over the weekend. Was it sustained? Not exactly. On Sunday, we had a dump from the entire market, broadly, for about $75 billion, which is a big number, but really, it's just a manipulation. Total for the liquidity market makers were dumping to get to a certain price point. That certain price point was where they could liquidate the most longs or shorts, and in this situation, they were trying to get the longs by pushing the price down. So that's what happened. That's why it was going on. Uh, it's not something to be long-term concerned about, but it is something that did happen. So I guess we got to point that out. However, the market seems to be reversing back towards that upside today, up about $50 billion on the day. Um, it, that's not the high so far. I think it was about $65 billion a little while ago. U.S. market's coming online right now, so a lot of profit taking and a lot of GD, if you will. Uh, but let's talk about what's going on in the Luna Classic community because there's a lot happening. There's a lot to unpack. So uh, let's get after it. All right, first up, uh, we got something that appeared on Coinpedia talking about the upswing. It's about 31% that we've had uh, on the pump right now. And, you know, this guy's not giving you anything that I'm not giving you. We're going to look at the charts in just a moment. But uh, basically what they're saying is what we've been talking about in that we're flipping bullish. And, of course, the next level of resistance is 9004. Uh, and then we move on from there again with the three zeros 11 three being what i would think probably the biggest form now so uh, we do have the double bottom that's playing out i'm going to show you on the chart in just a few moments so be watching for this because i do think that we're going to have a continuation of upside momentum because this was just a pump based on the interest rate being raised over on binance for us or at least that's what it appears to be so i get the sense and the feeling that we probably are not done now there's a new proposal Proposal aimed to improve uh, the previous proposal 12059 available at this link. It addresses the need for a more flexible and community different approach to code certification on the Terra Classic blockchain. Um, I'm going to suggest you read through this. There's uh, only one comment here. Um, but, you know, uh, uh, somebody is reaching out. Proposal is not about removing the KYC. Oh, yeah, we're still debating KYC, people joking about. So um, bear that in mind. Now let's look at price. All right. So um, if we close above the nine level, right now that that seems to be a bullish reversal and i thought you know what i'm gonna do is i figured i would just kind of create a you know just to give you guys an idea we'll uh we'll, we'll document what i think is going to happen in, in this context now uh broadly you you guys saw what i did over here and i said you know let's say this is the the next move right uh what we would do is we have a nice little pump here and then we would have some back testing and then perhaps we would have a breakout now Zooming in, you would see this is on the daily. The back testing here is between the 20 and the 50 right now. It continues to bounce off of it in that range, which I think means that there's another move coming uh, more broadly, longer term to this. I think we're going to test this 200 MA pretty soon. Now, uh, it seems like we're gathering steam at this range, which would, it would make sense right here. This is your volume node uh, in the short term. This is not long term, this is a short term. So this is your volume note, and then your next volume note is right here at 11, 11, 1, coming up to 11, 8. So I think we're going to settle, you know, somewhere right in that range towards the top end, which is 11, 3, which I told you guys before is that next big move. When I zoom out a little bit more, that bias gets confirmed because now you see the volume node coming up a little bit more towards the top right there around. So that's what I'm looking at. That's what I think is going to happen as the next big move. Um, and again, as I zoom out right here, now you start, this is the top of that right there. So um, that's what it looks like is going to have. So of course, that's going to take positive confirmation in the market. But should this continue to move sideways like this, then uh, again, attenuation here, this is starting to take on a little upward momentum here. So you're going to see it kind of think go about sideways for the moment and uh, I, I would consider that we'll probably get kind of a, a rejection right in that range before we continue on if in fact uh, we have enough behind on now price action we're down 72 percent in trading volume to 32 million but that's a, a significant number if i were to go back and start to look at that 1.5 percent burn tax with 32 million in volume at this current price there would be an enormous amount of burns happening over the next uh, short period of time so i would get pretty excited about if i were to see 32 million in trade volume over any period of time great great now uh 10 uh, about 10 million down 72 percent also on USTC uh, price coming down again just a little bit off of that pump but we've also got the circulating supply around 5.5 looking to still looking to remove some of these things from the circulating supply the only proposal still up 12119 which is to remove the KYC proposal and as right here it's not going to pass uh, right now voting ends in three days 
Uh, you can see here, generally divided. You know, this is a great opportunity. If you want people to not be, look, to me, this is a simple one of accountability. Um, they, they, they don't want to, and it's fair. Anybody can have whatever they want. They want it to be completely anonymous. That's not safe, but that's what they want. So I got 14 people voting yes right now. You got 13 people voting no right now. You've got uh, nine people voting no with veto. Uh, and then you've got three that are staining from this proposal because they don't have it tipping the hat one way or another because it's not important. So um, again, if you're validating or staking with somebody voting yes and you think no is the proposal and that uh, there should be KYC so that just in case somebody rugs or steals or something like that, they can be found, then it's important for you to validate with somebody, uh, stake with somebody who uh, supports what believes. Same thing. I don't, wild that I'm on Jesus and Lord's side on this, but you know, I think it's important that people know who it is that they're doing business. I mean, that's, every business does that. It's the only one where we're having that conversation of anonymity. So um, nice to have an anonymity, but it's not nice when somebody's robbing. You never know. somebody. So I think it's important that there is a uh, facility in place to KYC people. Um, and again, you, the investor, you'll never know who that person. The only people that will know is the company that's doing the KYC. And then in case that person needs pursued legally or something like that, that would be done by KYC vote and that person would be exposed at that point but only in that so um and that of course that of course is if this is a genuine kyc proposal and we conduct ourselves like business instead of you know children at a at an all you can jeet buffet if i don't know why i said that i don't know why i said that i think it's hilarious so now uh, as far as burns go uh, let's talk real quick about the burns uh, 381 million the beginning of the month is over we're getting to mid-month right now starting to slow down a little bit but we had a good uh, we had a good run now here's the good part uh because of all the volume that we got off of binance over the last couple days you're going to see a significant burn coming at the beginning of the month so i think this does reek of continuation on what's going on now you also have the tax to gas implementation going through so uh now we've got to deal with the one point five percent burn tag how that goes and from there should be doing pretty good so uh let's move on and let's do a little brisk based gaming yeah yeah anyway uh guys if you haven't already sign up for terra casino today this helps me tremendously to continue to provide you with this content terra casino has been gracious enough to to sponsor this channel and uh they've asked me to bring you new projects and projects that are up and coming in the lunk community so that's why we do this every day. So uh, if you haven't already, sign up at terracasino.io today. That helps out. We get about 2,000 people watching these videos every day, but we don't have 2,000 signups. Guys, I need your help. So help me out. Luna Classic, Luna, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygonmatic, US, USD, Dogecoin. Uh, there's more, Litecoin, uh, XR, a couple other ones uh, that you can uh, use as well for PvP poker, for sports, for uh, blackjack, casinos, um, roulette machines, um, slot machines, or game shows. Plenty of different stuff for you to do over here, including but not limited to crypto trading, uh, and then have bonus war against other people. Uh, there's plenty of just, plenty of just stuff to do. There's RNG games over here. So, I mean, guys, you owe it to yourself a shot. Also, if you're doing trading, and I do want to talk about this, we probably won't dig into this today but um look if you are trying to earn you know i've staked over here i've got 5,000 terra that i've got staked over here but what about farm if you look at the farming protocols over here look at some of the yields that are available right now especially us us pairing right here look at the liquidity pool over here 94 percent ar um and these variable by the way uh but luna uh the the rap luna with uh or the lunw Cryptonomy.finance is giving away $100,000 in Ethereum and $100,000 in Solana. Go to this X post and engage with it in order to get registered. Uh, you have to follow their Telegram, follow Cryptonomy on X, make a fixed staking deposit of at least six months. There's no amount given, but the winners could range from $100 to $10,000. So check it out today. Also, we now have a dark mode on Cryptonomy. So if you haven't, make sure you go check that out. Now, I told you guys before, I'm a big time fan of API3. I think it's gonna be one of the bangers. We're gonna do this one for six months. And we're also going to make a deposit on Ondo. And again, we're gonna do it for six months. That's a 32.46% yield. And now we're staked with more API, more Ondo. Guys, I can't stress enough, the market Get ready because there's something big getting ready to happen. Make sure that you're staking with Cryptonomy.finance today. With Luna Classic, 90% as well. Hamster meme, uh, you've got meme, hamster meme, 52% um, food, 26%. Guys, you have an opportunity to earn significant yields by just 
uh, yield farming over here in this protocol. So uh, I, I would think that do that. In fact, this morning, the reason that I'm having a conversation, I'm considering doing that too. Remember I have, I just unstaked 10 million Luna Classic with uh, all notes and I don't like all notes. I don't, they don't vote the way that I want them to vote. I don't think that they're good to have so much centralized power. So I, I feel like there's something better I could be doing. And you know, maybe this is the place. Maybe maybe doing some kind of pairing here and yield farming would be the move. So for, for you to consider as well. Now, remember, we had Rocket over here. We haven't had the launch of Rocket yet, but all of this has expired. So i uh, be looking for new launches over here all of the time. And then let's talk about, because of new launches, let's talk about something we talked about on Friday, Meme Coin Madness. Now, I signed up for a coin to do this with, and I didn't get picked, but the one that did get picked. All right, so if you have not already and you are interested, only buys are allowed right now. Uh, so you can buy the boys coin, click here to play. Um, uh, buy limit is 500K, uh, no wallet, no wallet, no wallet to wallet transfer. Pump can end based on block number, apply uh, or lunk raise. Launch date is announced, but actual start time is not. So people have to keep checking. There's a max supply of 200 million MBOY. Do the math involved using Lunk will show incorrect excessive slippage. So to make the correct number, display with EW Lunk, which is pegged one to one with Lunk. A swap page will allow converting between the two. Then you have the airdrop phase, no buying or selling. Um, so uh, this is, uh, here's where you swap right now. And this is where you buy CW Lunk. So if you were interested in this, I think uh, we're at 154X right now on price increase for the boys coin so far. Um, the goal, get it to over 300X as a good show. So in the event that you are looking for this, there's a possibility that you could have a nice little win. Um, so if you are looking for it, uh, again, we're looking for 300X. So come over here, scroll down in this little window. And by the way, uh, probably point out to, to, to some people that that's not optimal. We probably need that window to be opened up just a little bit more. But for right now, uh, because this is sponsored by Frag, then you know I think it's important that we all just kind of look at it. And guys, this is a game that you can play and potentially do winning, right? So then you have the opportunity to swap over here. Uh, and then once you've gotten everything in and, and once you're ready to go, and by the way, click on this right here, and that's going to take you to Lunk Exchange. So, and that's part of, you can see Terraport up here. Uh, you can see Lunk, W Lunk. And then potentially uh, some other stuff. Now, uh, by the way, one of the questions I want to ask you today, what are you going to do with your Luna? Have you decided what you're going to do with your Luna? Let me know down below. So uh, that's it, guys. Check out that meme coin map. Madness. That's at memecoinmadness.tech. And, you know, this is the first inaugural, if you will. They'd like to see a little bit of traction in it. You guys, again, we got 2,000 people watching. We should have 2,000 people buying. Uh, and it doesn't take $5 buy, $10 buy, something like that. Just a little bit uh, would, would go a long way towards valid game. And we continue playing the game. You're having a good time. So um, let me know what you think, again, in the comments down below. And uh, remember, this is not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, I do think that we've got a little bit of a reversal. The market is kind of simmering on the surface here, uh, bubbling underneath, if you will. And I think that at some point, very, very, very soon, we are going dynamic rip coming in market right now. Uh, by the way, Ethereum is up about 5.5% on the day. It's a big, big day for Ethereum. Uh, Ondo's up 7%. Three's up uh, pretty big. You know, there, there's, there's altcoins starting to, you know, starting to get a little bit of traction. And, you know, once that starts to move, see a little bit of an altcoin season, something like that. So, uh, and when we see an altcoin season like that, you're going to see a whole bunch of money cascading down into, uh, into classic. So, uh, again, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and we'll talk to you again very, very soon.